Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Viktor Korchnoi and Andreas Pettersson. This very beautiful chess game was played in Kiev in 1965. Viktor Korchnoi had white pieces and he started with d4. What happened to this arrow? It looks like that arrow put on weight during the holiday. Let's make it smaller. Andres Peterson played d5. c4, Queen's Gambit accepted. Knight to f3, Knight to f6. e3, Bishop to g4, Bishop takes on c4. e6, asking a question. Bishop to h5, keeping the pin. Knight to c3. Knight from b to d7. And Victor Korchnoi castled king's side. Bishop to e7, e4. White has two center pawns against black's one, and white also has a space advantage. White is standing slightly better. Knight to b6 attacking the bishop. What is the best square for the bishop? Is it b3, e2, d3? Korchnoi played bishop to e2, unpinning. Peterson casted king's side. Bishop to e3, bishop to g6, bishop to d3, knight from f to d7, intending c5 or maybe e5, perhaps c5. Bishop to f4, bishop to d6, e5. Bishop takes on d3, queen takes on d3, bishop to e7, rook from a to d1. Rook to e8, queen to e4 attacking the pawn on b7, c6. Should I say it again? White has a space advantage. But how can white continue to improve? What would you do? Perhaps rook from f to e1 comes to mind. Korchner played rook to d3, the rook lift. The rook may be going to the king's side. Knight to d5. Bishop to c1, saving the bishop. Knight to f8. Perhaps knight to b4 should have been considered. Maybe that would send the rook to d1. Knight to f8, more protection to the king. h4, intending knight to g5. Knight takes on c3, removing the defender of d5 square and intending queen to d5, exchanging queens. b takes on c3, queen to d5, offering to exchange queens and also attacking the pawn on a2. What should white do? Perhaps white should play queen to e2, what do you think? Kolchnoi played queen to g4, allowing his opponent to win the pawn. f6, preventing knight to g5. If queen takes on a2, Knight to g5, and black queen is in the offside. White gets a free kick. Just kidding. We have f6, preventing knight to g5. Pawn takes pawn on f6. Bishop takes on f6. Knight to g5. Queen to f5, offering to exchange queens again. Queen to e2 h6, knight to e4, bishop to e7, rook to f3, queen to d5. It is white to move, and this is now the most interesting moment of the game. In this position, Kochner played a surprise move. What surprise move can you play in this position? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Did you find this awesome? Bishop sacrifice. Bishop takes on h6. Pawn takes bishop. Why to move? What is the follow-up? Rook to g3 check. King to f7. Queen to g4. Rook from e to d8, making the room for the king to escape. Queen to g7. King to e8, just on time, maybe. White move, what would you do? Now comes the icing on the cake. If you don't eat cakes, don't worry. This is just 
an expression. Please pause and find the best move for white. What did you find? White played a move and black resigned and the move is this awesome, awesome killer move. Kaboom! Check! Black resigned in view of this continuation. Which one? How would you continue? The continuation is rook to g7 check. Black king has only one square to go to. King to e8 and now comes knight to f6 check mate. Wow, that was an awesome king hunt by Viktor Korchnoi, wasn't it? What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.